We are back in CVS, and somebody asked me if I would take a look at the hair care stuff. Don't mind my hair. I've been out mowing the yard, so <laughs> I had this on my hair because the wind was blowing. It was getting in my face, so I just left this on because if I take it off, it's going to look even worse. So um, I came over here, and you won't believe it. Originally, I came in here to look at uh, Halloween stuff. They have very little Halloween stuff, and they have two whole aisles of Christmas stuff. So, we're going to look at hair stuff. Here is, oh, this is temporary hair color from Salon on Fifth Avenue. It's a little bitty can. It's in magenta. And they have this one day color, which is, looks like it's hot pink. And here we have, like, orange and gray from Schwartz, Schwartzkopf and a pink one. That's really pretty. Oh wow, and down here from um, the same company we have, I really like this one, this blue here, that's really pretty. Just trying to straighten, see how they're all kind of pushed back? That drives me bonkers. Now Splat I'm familiar with. Um, I actually used some of that on my son. He dyed his hair purple. Um, I don't know if it was that one, I think it was. He dyed his hair purple a couple years ago. He, it looked really good. He liked it, but he, um, it faded away and he grew his hair out. Down here we have Feria. That's a pretty color. I like that. That's nice. I mean, look at all the, the options in this. Um, I've been in stores that had even more options than this. Lots of different Feria colors. And as you go, they get darker. Ooh, that's a pretty red right there. I tried to dye my hair um, a color similar to that once, but it came out more like the color of my nail polish. It was it was burgundy. It was really not not a good look for me. Oh God, sun in. If you were a teenager or whatever back in the 80s, you probably used this on your hair at some point. It totally fried my hair. It dried out so bad. It messed up my hair. I ended up having to get some of it cut off because it was just dead. And I've used this as well. Actually, I've used this very color. I did not like the way it made my hair feel, so I only used it once. Um, it made it feel like straw, so I, I didn't ever do it again. But maybe you'll have better luck. I don't know. Maybe I did something wrong. I don't know. But, uh... Frost and Glow. I remember when the frosted tips, well, they don't have anything here that does that, but the frosted look was really popular back in the 80s. And a lot of women had that frosted hair. What's this one? That one goes back there, like that. Ooh, that one's pretty. Vintage teal. That's nice. I like that. This is Feria Glam Grunge, multifaceted shimmering color. That's really pretty. I like that. Let's see here they have, it's for all hair types. You can't really see these because this thing's in the way. It's not a very good design. Like, <laughs> can't even get to that one. Look at this, this is pretty dusty mauve. That's kind of cool too. Ooh, downtown denim. I guess it's like a bluish black. This one's nice too. Smoky blue. An extreme platinum. And then we have, let's see, onyx black. Ruby noir. That's cool. And ebony brown. I have a lot of these shorts cop colors. Wait a minute. This is intense cocoa. Oh, and cappuccino. I thought it was the same, but it's actually not. Looks like they use the same picture on a lot of these. And berry brown. Look at this one. That's velvet brown. That's not bad. Hmm. Hmm. 
that's similar to what I tried to do with my hair, but it, it really didn't look good on me. Okay, so this is some amethyst black. That one is not. That's berry brown. That doesn't go there. I saw berry brown down here. Oh, look what I did. I, make it, I made it worse. <laughs> Oh, isn't that pretty? Now that's a nice color. Like that. Whenever I look at hair dye, it makes me want to change my color. Um, I used to change my color, but oh, look what I did. Get back up there. I changed it pretty frequently when I was younger. I just liked experimenting with different colors and stuff. And I've, I've done about all of them at some point or other. <laughs> Just straightening these boxes and then we get into um, we've been looking at Garnier right here that's a cool one that's intense light intense auburn I don't know that that would look very good on me but I like it though it's pretty this one I like better this is medium reddish brown that's better for me anyway I think it will look better butternut honey dip that's pretty I've even done these like this it was a long time ago but I, I did the super light um, color and it didn't really suit me so I didn't do it again these are excellence products from L'Oreal and they it seems like in every store they have the lightest colors on the bottom like they're all way down here this one's cool. Light reddish blonde. That's about the color of my younger son's hair. He has, if, if you look at my younger son's hair up close, it's like it's all different colors mixed together. There's blonde, brown, red, and it's all mixed up. All the hair is kind of a different color. I said, do you have any idea how much some women would pay to have their hair look like that? I mean, it looks like it was done by a salon or something. It's, it's wild. It's a very unique uh, color. It looks different in different lights. Oh my goodness, I didn't know they still made this stuff. My mom used to use this years ago. This is Fanciful Temporary Hair Color. Um, and you just, I can't even remember how you use it, but you just put it in your hair and it washes out. They have a lighter one and a darker one. My mom used to use that back in like the 80s. And so, so you have all the light colors, all the different brands. The light ones are down here. And then we have Revlon products that start right about here. Now their lighter ones are up here. And then we have the different browns. There's a pretty red. These are Color Silk products. I've never used the Revlon Color Silk. I've always been kind of afraid of them because they're so cheap. Like they're $4.59. Sometimes you can even find these at Dollar Tree. <laughs> and I'm just, I'm afraid of what it will do to my hair. <laughs> so I've never used them. They're probably fine, but they, the price makes me nervous. <laughs> I'm just kind of, ooh. That one's pretty too. This is medium auburn. A lot of these browns like this look really pretty in the picture, but when I put them on my hair, they all just look like, I don't know, they look really boring or something. I just, I don't like the way they look on me. Most browns just, I don't know. That dark mahogany brown is cool though. I like that. We have dark brown, soft black medium ash brown that's that's pretty actually I like that and let's see this is some extra light natural blonde that's pretty I do like that that's a pretty color sometimes I'm not so sure if I like the color or if it's the hairstyle or if it's a little bit of both that I like when I look at it I kind of like the companies that just have the one picture and the, all they change is the color of the hair because a lot of times I think it's just the color that I like and then when I use it myself I'm kind of
kind of underwhelmed. They do have a lot of options for the color silk, I will say that. Look at all this. I mean, it's a pretty good variety of shades here. I didn't think they had this many. But yeah, I've seen this stuff at Dollar Tree and it just scares me. Then we have Fade Resist. That goes there. And this is Honey Blonde. It's pretty. I like that. And Just Five. I've never tried if one of the five minute hair color things. I don't see how it can work in just five minutes. I've wondered about these Age Defy colors. They're from uh, Clairol. And I do have a lot of gray, like I've, I've mentioned before. Why is this Feria? This doesn't even go here. I mentioned before, I started going gray when I was about 20 or 21. It was right around the time I graduated college. I started to have quite a bit of noticeable gray hair. And it's genetic. Both of my parents and my brother had the same problem. Actually, my parents and my brother all went gray in their late teens. So, it... It could have been worse. So, I've been dyeing my hair for a very long time. I just, at 20, I was not ready to have gray hair. I just, no. I couldn't deal with it. So, I've been, I've experimented with all kinds of different colors and brands. And Boy, look at all these blondes. These must be super popular. Look at, goodness gracious, that one is light. Well, I would be afraid to do that. <laughs> if I were going to do it, I would go with, uh, with something a little bit lighter. Maybe that, because that's kind of close to what it is now. I like these boxes. It's kind of cool how they're made. Oops, messed it up. Nice red there. I'm not planning on changing my hair color. I mean, I think about it sometimes, but I don't know that I really want to. It's just a thought. It's a little flight of fancy, but I probably won't do it. I order my hair, uh, hair dye stuff from um, Madison Reed. I've been using their stuff for, uh, for several years, and I'm very happy with it. I think I'll stick with them. Because their, their hair dye is um, pretty cool. It doesn't, it doesn't leave my hair feeling dried out or anything. Okay, so I brought the feria back over here, and it goes right here. But there's not really enough room for it to go there. There we go. There. That's cool. Let me um, see if I can straighten this up. This is L'Oreal Colorista Bleach. For the ombre look like this and then they have all over bleach and splat these are so much fun with my job i couldn't dye my hair you know it's not cool to work in a white collar professional environment and a lot of places don't we wouldn't be too happy with you coming in with purple hair or anything but i wouldn't mind doing it Keratin color. I don't think I've ever, I don't know if I've ever tried one of these or not. I've tried just about all of these. I've tried these o Olea Garnier. They're pretty good. What's this one? 5.3. That one goes here. It's medium golden brown. Honestly, I can't tell a huge difference in some of these. I mean, they're, they're so close. I really, I don't know if there, there's really that much difference. I mean, I guess there is. They wouldn't keep selling them if there wasn't a difference but hey that looks better look check it out look at look at all that look at all that order and neatness right next to that we have some tissues puffs tissues i use the ones with uh, lotion in them i don't think these have lotion let me move these like this and there and here's a cube of kleenex you don't i don't know why that's up here that up here with these Kleenex. Oh, it's different though. These are antiviral. That's ultra, ultra soft. Oh dear. Hmm. Total Home. I think these are some of the. Let's 
CVS products here. Ooh. I never was crazy about trying to organize these. Sometimes it's hard. And these have lotion. So those are cool. And puffs here are the puffs with the lotion. These are regular Kleenex. And then they have the three packs down here. I like the cubes. I don't normally get the rectangular boxes. I don't know why. I just don't. You know, they have a lot of makeup in here. We could look at that. These are LA, what is this? LA Girl? Yeah. LA Girl. I'm not really familiar with this stuff. I haven't used it. What well, if I have? I haven't used much of it. I'm thinking it's probably a lot like Wet n Wild. The prices seem to be famil uh, similar to Wet n Wild products. They have this velvet blush stick for $4.99. And face primers. And then these are Neutrogena products. It's an NYX matte lipstick and suede. That doesn't go here. Makeup remover pads. I don't even know where the NYX stuff is. I'm thinking, because see, here's Wet n Wild here. And I have used some of their products. I'm like, here's a Wet n Wild matte, matte uh, face primer. That goes down here. Let's see. Is it this one? Yeah. Oh, look at that correcting palette. That's cool. NYX. Here's Milani. That's not NYX. Rimmel. That's not NYX. I don't know where this came from. But look, let me show you. As far as Halloween candy goes, like, that's all they have. That little, that's all they've got in the whole store. I'm going to have to put this in purgatory, I'm afraid, because, okay, we have Revlon over here, and it comes down to here, and then you have L'Oreal, Maybelline, I just am not seeing it. But that's a pretty color. If that's the color it is, that's really pretty. I like it. Look at all these products. I'm going to have to put it back where I found it because I don't know where it goes. I'm sorry. Oh, aren't these beautiful? Look at these lip glosses. These are the Katy Cat from Katy Perry. I love the little, <laughs> the little kitty cat on there. It's so cute. I don't think I would look good in blue. I do kind of like Ninth Life or Wild Feline. That's not Wild Feline. Oh my lord. You could light up the dark with that color. This one is KP29 Kitty Karma, which is this one. Right there. Oh, this one's pretty too. This is um All Nighter, which is that. doesn't want to go. go. There we go. Oh, look at that dark blue. My goodness, that's dark. Wow. I think it would just make you look like a dead person if your lips were that blue. I just, I don't know, man. I'm too old. I can't walk around with blue lips. Somebody might actually think I'm dead. You know, you get closer and closer to that age where every time you take a nap, people have to check on you periodically to make sure you're breathing. And then you go to a family reunion and everyone wants to take a picture with you. <laughs> it's kind of depressing. This is not LA Girl. This is Maybelline. Define and Feel Duo. Little pencil. Let's come over here and see. Well, here's the mascara stuff. Look at that. That's cool. Um, Alright. Define and Feel Duo. Lasting drama. Who wants lasting drama? Lord, not me. I feel like I've had lasting drama during periods of time in my life. I certainly would not want more of it. Oh, here we go. It's over here. This is number 260, Deep Brown. And it goes right there. What's this one? I love new mascaras. I, I love to try 
different ones. I'll find one that I love for a long time and then I move on to something else. This is Blackest Black 501, which goes right here. And what's this? This one is Sensate Lash Sensational Curvitude 710 Blackest Black. 710, there's 705. 710 is right here. Here's a different one. Maybelline Colossal Volume Express in Glam Black, which is right here. That's good. This is the one I always come back to. Great Lash, just in black or very black or whatever. This is what I'm using now. It works okay. I always come back to it. <laughs> always do. Let's, um, come down here and look at the jewelry. I don't think we've looked at the jewelry since the last time we were in here. And it changes periodically. You know, we have the I am. It looks like lamb or 1 a.m., but it's I am. <laughs> hey, they have clip earrings. How cool. Oh, these are pretty. Isn't that pretty? I like that. Oh, these are cool, too. Very nice. Those are a little small for me. I like, I like uh, longer earrings. This ring is pretty too. Look at that. Nice. Oh, nice, nice, nice. Here's a long, like a copper colored or rose gold. I'd say it's more of a copper color necklace. And this one, the pendant on this one is really pretty. It's a little long. I don't wear long necklaces much. Oh look, this one has little tassels on this chain and then the other chain has a pineapple on it. Neat. And look how many hoops. You get three pairs of earrings here. Black, gold, and silver. Ooh, that one's pretty too. Sparkle, shine, and party. Oh wow, that bracelet is gorgeous. Look at that, and it's on both sides. This one's pretty too. And um, over here, um, I think a lot of this is silver. Yes, yeah, sterling silver, and these of course are more. These are $16.95. Look at these pretty rings. Very nice. Oh! That's gorgeous. I have the ring actually that matches this bracelet. Beautiful. There's another, another, another little kiosk over here. Look at that pendant. It's like a tiny ring. Sparkles all around. Ooh, these. Oh, now that is super sparkly. <laughs> And some more rings. They come in small, medium, and large. Very pretty. Well, solitaire there. Very nice. And some simple, small earrings. Some little rhinestones and pearls. I have to say, though, they had more variety with their jewelry the last time I was in here. They just had different styles. A lot of this stuff kind of looks the same. That's cool. I like that combination. That's really pretty. Very nice. That's a that's a small, and that is three separate rings for nine ninety five. I mean, you can't beat that. Oh, I love these rings. Now this is more up my alley right here. This one is beautiful. I love that. That is just gorgeous. Look at that. The only problem is these rings are sized kind of big. I think they are a little bit. And a lot of them don't fit me right. Yeah, these are more, these are more my style. That one's cool. I have one similar to that. Oh, well, now these are neat. The little, I guess, I think they're called peekaboo earrings. Like you have that little piece that hangs down and it comes behind your earlobe. And I like those too. That's very pretty bracelet. And is this two necklaces? I think that's two separate necklaces for uh, $14.95. Oh, 
Oh, now this I really like. This is a little choker, and it's on just a simple black cord with a really shiny rhinestone hanging on it. That's cool. How much is that? $8.95. I do like that. And some bracelets like this as well. This is all one piece, but it has multiple little chains attached. Boy, look at these. These are like the earrings that Lynette wore when she was in jail. And then some little pearl earrings and more rhinestone earrings. So, honestly, I like the selection a little bit better the last time I was in here, but, you know, can't win them all. I think my favorite thing is that, that ring right there. That was my favorite. But I have enough rings, I really do. Oh, look at this messed up deodorant. Look, look at all the deodorant. Look, this is this is the men's deodorant and the women's deodorant is down there. You wouldn't believe the variety of just old spice deodorant they have. There are so many different scents, like Pure Sport Plus, Lasting Legend, Extra Fresh, Stronger Swagger. <sighs> and ooh, you can smell like an ambassador. The scent of excellence. I feel like I'm in idiocracy. There's just something weird about the names of these things. Crockengard, Crackengard, Bear Glove, Wolf Thorn. Are you kidding me? Wow. You can even smell like timber. <laughs> uh. Alrighty then, I, I think I think I'll pass. You could smell like Fiji. Mm -mm -mm. They have swagger in a can. If you told me 20 years ago you'd get swagger in a can, I would have said you were nuts. And then here we have just the regular boring stuff that's been around forever. Your good old trusty speed stick, regular and fresh. Hey, anybody remember these? The, the cream deodorant. It comes in this little jar and you have to kind of scoop it out and smush it up under your arms. Yeah. It's still available. We have Dove Men's deodorant. These don't really fit right. See, it's too skinny. It's like they don't want to face the right way. I used to hate when I worked in a drugstore and I had to put out the sale tags. I used to hate having to put these up because anybody trying to look on its products, you have to move all these things. It's ridiculous. It's excessive and it shouldn't be, but clean comfort. No, that's not clean comfort. That goes back there. Then we have degree uh, clinical protection and secret clinical strength. Smooth, solid, fearlessly fresh. There we go. I'm not really loyal to any particular deodorant. I, I just, I try different kinds all the time. And then we have the regular old trusty secret down here. It's been around forever. Oh, the roll-on. Now, this I did not know they still made. They still have the roll-on secret deodorant. I didn't even know. It's down here at the very bottom where no one will ever see it all by itself. It probably cries itself to sleep every night. Nobody ever asks it to dance. That's sad. Soft and dry. Oh, I remember this too, the spray. <laughs> I still remember the commercial. They have this little jingle, soft and dry, solid. They'll help hide what you're feeling inside, or something like that. Hey, they have band roll on. Look at this. And the logo looks exactly the same. <laughs> band roll on. They have regular, powder fresh, unscented, and two packs of unscented. Now, I didn't even know they still made that. They have dry idea roll on, too. They have a lot of roll-ons. I never even have Alme roll-on. I really didn't know. Crystal deodorant. I'm not familiar with that. No aluminum. Okay. That's neat. 
and Tom's. Now, I, I will say I've tried the Tom's deodorant, and I was not overly impressed with it. Um, I didn't. I didn't think it worked very well. I didn't buy any more of it. Um, but that, I mean, that's just me. We all like different things, and that's okay. That's why they have such a wide variety of choices because different people prefer different things, and that's all right. It, I promise you, it is. It really is okay. All right. Well, that was a bonus. We kind of straightened up the deodorant too. We got the store looking good, at least part of it. <laughs> anyway, thank you so much for coming to check out the hair dye. Oh, I just noticed something. We have the men's hair care products over here. We didn't even look at those. Obviously, the selection is not as big, but there's more than I would have thought there, there would be. There's quite a bit. But anyway, we straightened the ladies hair dye and looked at some other stuff. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you later.